Faiza and Anissa Omar are the sisters behind The Stylish Baker, an online store specializing in everything you need to bake the perfect pastry. When we visited them recently, they were about to leave for Paris in search of new products and ideas. And now they're back with plenty of fresh inspiration. It's the capital of France, but politics and governance aren't really the first things that come to mind when Paris is mentioned in casual conversation. Lifestyle and food rival architecture and fashion as the USPs of the Parisian experience. And the city of light is Faiza and Anissa's favorite overseas destination. They've just returned from one of their regular visits to France to see what's trending in terms of style, confectionery and pastry making. And Zaki popped in for an update and some samples. Bonjour! Hello, hello! Ça va? Ça va bien. The last time I saw you two ladies, you were jet-setting off to the city of pastry and love. We're we'll back. We have lots of photos. Do you want to see? We went to all these amazing patisseries. We got so many ideas. So today we're going to make Duchess. She's beautiful, oh, gorgeous. She's beautiful. Macaron base with the Earl Grey insert, vanilla creme, and the strawberries macerated. I am in love. So while you ladies <laughs> chat, I'm going to prepare the Earl Grey insert. To start off with, I'm going to put my saucepan on the heat. Next up, sugar. Water. So this is going to boil into a syrup. It's going to mix it. So what's very important when making macarons, we need a very good sugar thermometer and we need to monitor the temperature. This syrup needs to boil to about 115. Zach, do you want to pour the egg whites in here, please? Yes, boss. So we're going to whisk these. Let's check the temperature. When we get to 115 degrees, we're going to pour the syrup into our egg white. And then we're going to let that work to cool down. And while this is heating, we're going to prep our tongue for You can see it's nice and smooth and so fine. And this is equal quantities of icing sugar and ground almonds. Next, one part of egg white. And now comes the fun part. So we're just going to add some color. And I would suggest that you use a powder food color. Okay. Because it doesn't change the liquid in your macaron okay. batter. Okay. So this is ready. We have a lovely cloud of Italian meringue. Mm. Do you want to feel it? It's cool. I know you want to taste it. You know me too well. Okay. So we're going to mix our egg whites into our ground almonds. Let me help you with that. So I always suggest we just take a quarter first. Okay. Just to loosen this. Too runny and it's not gonna hold its form. Too stiff and you're gonna have peaks. So Get we're it. just gonna keep mixing. So we have the perfect macaron batter. Oh. Let's fill our piping bag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do this. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, so we have our prepped trays, okay. pre-marked, non-stick. Now we're going to pipe. So these macarons for Duchess are bigger than your standard size. Okay. I usually count when I'm piping, so I'll say one, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Handy tips that I'm remembering yes. now. We bang them to release the air bubbles, you can see. And also, I'm going to take this tray to an aircon room for 30 minutes, just so that it can form a skin on the surface. What's cooking here? Good looking. So we're busy with the Earl Grey inserts. Will you please throw them all into the saucepan? Of course. So that's just going to heat up. So to the milk, we add the two Earl Grey tea bags when you pop that in. Do you often follow your gut and intuition when you're making creations? And does it sometimes turn out awfully? So basically our children are our biggest critics and yes we do have props or crazy combinations and sometimes we have amazing things that just work out. So you just strain this out and into your bowl. As you can see the milk has changed to a lovely golden brown colour. Will you pass me the gelatine? So this is the gelatine mass. Our fish gelatine will melt into the milk mixture. To this we're going to add our melted white chocolate and we just mix until it's incorporated and nice and smooth. I'm just making sure it's not poisonous. So to this bowl, we're going to add our egg yolks and sugar. Wonderful. Please add that into the bowl. 
So we whisk this. Please, when you add the sure. milk mixture into the egg yolk, the trick is to keep whisking while you're adding the milk okay. mixture. That is perfect. So to the milk mixture, we need to add the fish oil. Cool. So this is our half sear mold for our all grey intact. So we just pour the mixture into our mold. The nice thing about a mousse like this is it's very versatile. You can use it in quite a few pastries and desserts. So we're just going to pop this into the blast freezer. Can I help you? Pizza yeah. Pizza <laughs> macarons are ready to bake. So our macarons need to bake on 150 thermal fan for 15 minutes. The baking characteristics of different makes of ovens may vary slightly, so a little fine-tuning of the temperature and time may be required at home. So this is our Earl Grey sphere, which we prepared earlier. Do you want to pass me the creme leger? So the creme leger is a pastry cream, and we just fold in 200 grams of lightly whipped cream. So I'm just going to pipe a little bit of the cream. So we just place the sphere. I'm just putting the strawberries around the old grey mousse. <laughs> so now we'll place the macaron onto the top. Voila! It was wonderful sharing our French travel adventures with you. Ah, oh, ladies, thank you for the sweetest treat of a day. Bon appétit. Merci. Until next time, au revoir and thanks for the cake.